Austin Powers, <laughs> banana, bongo drum. Hey guys, it's Molly here again for another video, and today we're talking about something you've probably never heard of, and something that probably isn't very many other places on the internet. I mean, I've never searched for blindisms on YouTube. Actually, now I'm kind of curious. I wonder if anybody's ever made a video about this, but I feel like it's probably never happened. So here I am to talk about it. You guys know I love making content that's not blindness related, but I also love making content that is because it's a big part of my life. And I like to sit down and take the opportunity that I have with this audience that is around me to try and educate and spread awareness. and open up some minds to new ideas. That's what I thought I'd talk about today. So first off, what are blindisms or what is a blindism? And basically it's a repetitive behavior done by somebody who's blind or has minimal vision, typically more common among those who are born blind or with minimal vision, but can be acquired by anybody who is blind or low vision. So two of the most common blindisms are rocking back and forth, so moving your torso forward and backwards, or pushing on your eyes and putting pressure on your eyes, which was like the first blindism I ever had. Closing my eyes and like shoving my fists into my closed eyes, or like really aggressively rubbing them. Typically with blindisms, especially ones like that that are actually can be harmful to the health and safety of your eye. It's something you try to get trained out of. So usually blind people will have like a code word with their friends or family and when they see them doing that behavior, because oftentimes blind people aren't even aware that they're doing the behavior, they're just doing it to create stimulation. It's like their brain is telling them, do this thing so I can get stimulation. When they see that person doing the behavior, they'll be like, Austin Powers, <laughs> banana, bongo drum, and you know, whatever your weird code word is. I don't know why those are ones I came up with, but they are. That is like a trigger to be like, oh, I'm doing the behavior, I shall stop myself. Usually it's a code word, just so you don't like draw a lot of attention towards the person. You know, you know, it's like embarrassing. You don't want to call the person out in front of everybody be like, yo, Tom, stop rocking. It's kind of like, you know, just a little more subtle to be like, Tom. Really, I don't like push on my eyes or rub on them harshly anymore, especially with eyelash extensions. It like prevents me from rubbing my eyes because I don't want them to fall out. So another plus of, plus of lash extensions. Don't have to do my mascara and mess it up and I don't rub my eyes. Some of the other blindisms that I have had personally and that I like know other people who have had, and typically like I don't do these things usually in public. I try to be more aware of it when I'm in public, but I'm when I'm at home and I'm like around my friends or family that I'm really comfortable with, I'll like more often do it. Um, so one of them is taking like a clear water bottle that has some water in it and like I'll hold it up to a light and like slosh it back and forth because the water will create like light waves and stuff. And it just gives my brain stimulation. I cannot, I've talked about it in the past, like I cannot express to enough. When your brain doesn't get visual stimulation, it craves it. It like forces you into doing these things because it's like, I need something. And the worst thing for me is like sitting in a doctor's office waiting room or something and everybody's like on their phones and it's silent. There's nobody talking. There's nothing to do. And I'm just sitting in a chair. There's nothing to listen to. I'm not able to like people watch or read. I can't like create conversation and it's really, really hard for me. My brain is like, do these things. And that's when a lot of blind people will do these things like rock or push their eyes because it it's like giving their brain satisfaction. You guys know if you've been around my channel for a while how much I love glitter and sequins and sparkles and metallics because when light hits it, I can see it. So for example, my phone case, like there, I have a box light right there, so I don't know if it'll like pick it up much, but it's all glitter. So I'll like hold this up and like shine it into a light to like reflect into my eye. Or like the other day I was like just spinning it under a light on a coffee table because it was like making light and I'm like having a conversation with one of my friends, but I'm like just staring at it because it's just like my brain, especially I do it more often when I'm tired, like when my brain needs a boost, it needs to wake up. Another one is just generally like staring at lights. So if I'm like tired and I'm out for dinner with my family or something and it's late at night and it's like a dark restaurant, if there's like a flame, a flickering flame of a candle in the middle of the table, my eyes will just like glue to it and they'll just stick there. And it's so hard for me. Or like I'll look up to the ceiling and my eyes will like stick to the lights on the ceiling and I'll just <laughs> like sit there like this and I try so hard not to do it and to like pull my eyes 
downwards. So blind isn't their, their things. Or like, um, usually like touching your face more or things like that. Almost a way of checking my makeup. Like if I'm oily, like I'll touch my face because I can't look in the mirror. But I know that that's not like a thing I should do in public. Like sit there feeling up my face. There are things that I try to like remind myself other people can see you even though you can't see them and you should not do this around other humans. Very common blindism that I am definitely affected by is the volume of speech. A lot of you tell me I yell a lot and that I'm very loud in the comments below. I'm sorry, part of that is like miking issues at times when I'm in echoey rooms or whatnot. But the other part of it is it's it's a blindism. A lot of blind people speak too quietly or speak too loudly because we cannot see if the person is hearing us, if the person's engaged in our conversation. I am one of those blind people who always talks too loudly, but I also know blind people who always like almost whisper, they speak so quietly because they can't see if people are hearing what they're saying. We, we don't register with the faces that other people are engaged with us. Another one is like looking downwards. So speaking to people with your face towards your lap, I never do that when I'm speaking to people, but there's definitely times if I'm like trying to focus and there's a lot of noise happening where I'll like tip my head down and I'm like, Molly, look up, <laughs> stop staring at your lap. A lot of you comment when I'm doing collaborations and there's other people involved in the video, they're like, wow, how is she like looking back and forth? That's something I consciously like have done over time and has now become a, a habit or a pattern, but you can understand that for people who are born blind, they wouldn't develop that. They wouldn't know the importance of it because they've never had to look at somebody's face when they're talking to them to see facial expression. They don't even know that other people look around because they've never seen people looking. Those are some common blindisms, those are some of mine that I have have and those are the reasons why they exist and how to kind of like overcome them. Not that it's like something to overcome, but you know, social norms is important to like in terms of fitting in, especially when you're growing up in school. We're already really different and stick out a lot with canes and dogs and braille and whatnot. So anything to like help socially is important. So I think that's that's a lot of it. I don't think I have anything else to say about it. Comment below if you have any questions and I'll make sure to answer them in another video. I love you guys oh so very much. Give this a thumbs up if you feel like you learned something new. Hit that subscribe button and join the family if you want to learn more and I'll see you next time.